Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be doing a parallax movement and text behind the subject with the AI images we have generated to tell a creative message or story. You can download Bing Image Creator for free, and I find that DAL-E works best for this type of image. Google search or go to Microsoft Bing or use any of your favorite AI image tool. The prompt for this image is in my YouTube description below. Here are four beautiful images of the girl on the swing. I like this one better as it has an angle. First download the full image. Next, we will customize the image using a lesser known tool, Microsoft Designer. Here is where you can do background removal and object removal. For this image, the background removal didn't do a good job. We will do that later in our editor. Let's do the object removal then. Select the brush stroke to be smaller for better control. Download the erase picture. Now, let's put these two pictures inside. Great. Studio 3. This is my go-to video editor. You can use any other video editor that has basic features. Create Studio 3 has a background remove feature that does a better job. Now you can see it. You may use other background removal tools. Bring the erased background picture into the timeline below the girl on the swing subject. First, we will add two keyframes with position and scale to this picture to create the parallax movement. Place your cursor on the second diamond of the keyframe. Watch carefully the two swing ropes. Put your cursor at the lower left corner and drag the image out of the canvas until the swing is completely out of the canvas. Now when you play the video, you will see how the girl has the parallax movement going out of the picture and coming back in again. Next is to adjust the keyframes to your desired timing. Next, we do the text. Place the text layer in between these two pictures. Select your favorite text. I'm using Josephine Sans here. Adjust your text size and lay it at the bottom where you can see it coming from behind the subject.
add a motion movement. Incoming from the left side. Adjust your timing. See how it all comes together beautifully. I've added more movement to the text as I wanted it to end smaller within the picture later. You can do whatever you like. Next, we will split the last layer of the picture so that I can create contrast in the end. To do this, we will add a feature from Effects and Components, Color Correction. Change the brightness to 50%. Lastly, add a track above the last layer with the full picture. Add a motion fade in and a motion fade out for the subject above to exit while the full picture comes in. Make adjustments wherever fits to ensure you have the right duration of the video. We hope you have learned something from this tutorial and enjoy being creative and making your own variations for your storytelling. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please give us a like and subscribe and be notified. More tutorials are coming 